Dylan White is scheduled to fight Jermaine Franklin this Saturday. The fight will be afternoon Eastern time. I think it will be, what, 5.30 on the zone. The fight will be in London, UK. Dylan White coming off a knockout defeat to WBC lineal heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Uh, he has a record of 28 wins. 19 of those wins coming by knockout. Three losses. All three of his losses coming by knockout. All three of his losses ended also by uppercuts. Anthony Joshua knocked him out with the right uppercut. Puvietkin knocked him out with the left uppercut. Then Tyson Fury knocked him out with the right uppercut. You could say uh, that his punching, not punching, his punch resistance has gone down a lot. He can't take a punch like he used to before. I saw that he took lots of punches, clean punches from both Anthony Joshua and Derek Chisora. But that perfect punch that he ate from Puvietkin, knocked him out cold, did some damage in my opinion. Because the punch that Fury landed didn't seem the most devastating shot in the world. It seemed like a shot where even if it would have wobbled or hurt White earlier in his career, it wouldn't have knocked him out that clean. But White now seems not to be able to take a punch like he used to before. Jermaine Franklin, a guy who... When he comes in shape, he's a very dangerous fighter. I just saw today his fight when he fought Jerry Forrest. And I heard, I think I've heard Hatman talking about it. I remember, it was a UK, uh, it was a UK YouTuber, but I don't remember who it was exactly. But I'm going to say Hatman. He said that Jerry Forrest landed lots of left hooks. First of all, Jerry Forrest is a southpaw. Second of all, yeah, so let's go back to the first thing. I mean, your softball obviously comes from a different angle, from a whole different trajectory. And second of all, Jerry Forrest is not known for having a killer left hook like Dylan White is. Now, a lot of people are going to now comment about how I say Dylan White. I'm not Dylan, Dillian, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but it's, it looks like Dylan. So I'm going to say Dylan. Okay, now let's go back to the point. Uh, Jerry Forrest doesn't have a devastating left hook like White does. So obviously. Jermaine Franklin will specifically train to avoid that left hook. The problem is with Franklin, in my opinion, he comes in at different weights. In his last fight, he came in at 277 and a half, which is crazy. He's only 6'2", 77 inch reach. Against Jerry Forrest, he came in at 240. He even seemed a bit too fat in that fight against Ryder Booker, the fight before they came at 245. He's come in at different weights throughout his career. When he debuted, he was 262. So he he goes up and down, up and down. He's boxing the 230s before. If he comes in at 240, 239, max 245, I don't know how what, what it's going to do to win this fight. Because Jermaine Franklin is the much quicker fighter. He's the better boxer. And he can fight rough, just like the only way can. I saw him fight rough in that Jerry Forrest fight. And he was getting the better of Jerry Forrest when they were fighting rough. And he beat Jerry Forrest. He's undefeated. He been a very. I heard people say that. Uh, I think it was also him and Ivan people. He said that that fight could have went either way. Not in my eyes. That was a clear, Jermaine Franklin win. Now, if White now completely has a glass chin, this fight, it's only going one way. It's going to be a, a Jermaine Franklin knockout win. I don't even see it going to points. Yeah, I see a clear victory for Franklin. If White has the same chin he had before, I wouldn't say before too long. If he came in as the same guy that fought Oscar Rivas, I still see Franklin possibly winning this fight on points if there is fair judging. Now, let's just make sure, is this fight happening in the UK? I'm 95% sure it is. But let me just see real quickly. Yeah, it's happening in the Wembley Arena. Not the Wembley Stadium. No, it's not in the 75K uh, capacity. That's not where it's happening. It's happening in the Wembley Arena. Uh, Fabio Wardley fights Nathan Gorman. That should be an interesting fight. 
Craig Richards fights Richard Balotniks. I think Craig Richards should win that fight easily. If he doesn't, I don't know what to say. Craig Richards is coming off a defeat to Joshua Boatze. Uh Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good fighter. I like uh, I like Craig Richards a lot. Richards Balonix should not beat Craig Richards. Uh, Richard Balonix, he has beat guys like Jose Burton. So if, if you're not a good fighter, he will expose you. But Joshua Boatze dealt with him fairly easily. And Craig Richards, he should too deal with him fairly easily, in my opinion. Now that's the undercard. As I said, Dylan White, if he's expecting an easy fight, if he's expecting to fight a bum, if he's expecting to just get back to winning ways, knockout ways against Jermaine Franklin because he's seeing that he's come in fat a few times, he could be in for a rude awakening. Jermaine Franklin is a very good fighter. I saw him fight today. Go, go watch him. Don't take my words for him. Not words, words. Don't take my word for it. Go watch the, his fights. Go watch some tape on me. There's lots of fights for him on YouTube. His uh, promoter is Dimitri uh, Salila. Dimitri Salila. I'm from Michigan, so I know. Dimitri Salila has a complete control over all fighters in Michigan. Even though all Quinn brothers, they both fought with him. He has a full control. Full, full control. Over Detroit fighters, over all Michigan fighters in general, so I'm not surprised that he promotes uh, Jermaine Franklin. But what's good about? I think Dimitri Salida also promotes. Uh, what's her name? The one that she says the the quote, Clarissa Shields. I think he's uh, he also promotes Clarissa Shields. He has a complete control over all. Boxers from Michigan. I remember I saw him a couple times at the Dynamic Boxing Club where I used to train back in the day. He has a complete control over everyone that fights here. And what's good about him is that he uploads all these fights on YouTube. So you will find a bunch of fights for Jermaine Franklin on YouTube. He has connections with Showtime. Uh, Demetrius Slater, if you guys don't know him, he was a former... He's a Jewish fighter. He was uh, formerly knocked out by Amir Khan. I remember that fight very, very well. I think Amir Khan knocked him out. In the round, I could be wrong, but I think I think he knocked him out in the round. Uh, let me just take out real quick. Dimitri Salila. Oh shit, he's born from, he's born in Ukraine. I had no idea. I had, yeah, he, America knocked him out in the round back in two thousand nine. It was a title defense for America. Yeah, so that's it. Keep an eye out for Jermaine Franklin. He could beat Dylan White. If Dylan White is overlooking him, it could be a rude awakening for Dylan White. If you're a betting man, if you like to bet, throw you a 20, a 40 on Jermaine Franklin. You won't regret it. Look at the odds. I've seen the odds, but 90% I'm going to put some money on Jermaine Franklin. That's my thoughts. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, check out Jermaine Franklin. Sadiq Boxing out.